please. Don't kill me. If I had been in my right mind, I never would have caused you this pain. I never- You took everything from me. Now all I have left is revenge. And I am not gonna let you take that from me, too. Male, 6'2", 230 pounds, hazel eyes. The mirror's supposed to show a direct reflection of you. I don't see myself, I see a stranger. I think you really want to kill me. What part of me holding the gun don't you understand? I get that you're angry. I just don't think you can pull the trigger. <laughs> Believe me, that is the difference between a man who's never taken a life and a man who has. This man has killed before. Probably someone close to me. Is that why I want to kill him? I spent every day wishing I did things differently. It doesn't matter to me. Do you know what kind of life I've lived since that day? It's been nothing but anger, guilt, and regret. If you truly hated me, you wouldn't be trying to put me out of my misery. You'd let me live. If I do, who will I become? some kind of condition. What are you talking about? Every couple of minutes you black out. When you come to, you act like you don't know who you are. I know who I am. Really? What is your name? Noel Live.
Passing out and memory loss. That's part of my condition. Seems to be happening every couple of minutes, like clockwork. I hate wearing watches. They constrict my wrist movement when I work with my hands. Hey, do you remember me setting my watch? No. Why can't I pull this watch off? Why so I don't have to die without a reason? I don't know my name, age, or where I was born. I have no idea who I am. All I remember is a sensation. One of rage, anger, and hatred, all combined into one outrageous feeling. And it's led me to you. And it won't go away until I put a bullet in your head. What could I have done to make you hate me so much? I don't have to explain myself to you. Think about what you're doing. Your hate's blinding you to the reality of the situation. You can't just break into a guy's house, kill him, and then not expect there to be consequences. I'll deal with the consequences later. My phone is missing. The only way into the basement is the stairs, so that's where my phone must be. Her name is Hope. She was the love of my life, according to my notes. It's not hard for me to believe that I loved this woman. She's beautiful. Her pain. What happened to her? If she felt the fear that I know this man to be feeling, then I'm going to make sure he suffers. Get up. Get up. Hands up. Hey, whoa, what? what who are Hands you? up. What's Hands going up. on? I don't have a Shut lot of money. Who are you? Just shut your mouth. Do you see this woman? Do you see her? 
You killed her two years ago today. Now I'm gonna kill you. Get up. so blessed and excited for our future. <laughs> oh, Noel, I know we already said our vows, but there's so much more I want to say. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I know I already said that, but it bears repeating. Not only that, you are the reason that I want to live my life. I feel the same way for you. I don't know what I'd do without you. too much to be reminded of losing you. Two years ago today, my newly wedded wife was murdered by a drunk driver. After the crash, I lied in the car in severe pain. If I hadn't known she was in the car, I wouldn't have recognized her. I passed out shortly after, probably from shock. The driver got away and the cops have been unable to catch him since. I honestly don't remember anything. I would be lost without these police reports.
where are you? Who are you? I'm a friend of Hope. She asked me to come see you. What are you talking about? Please, I... I'm not here to hurt you. What are you, a psychiatrist? As I said, I'm a friend of Hope. Hope can't send anyone. She's dead. Yet here I am. Your soul is at war within you. It's deciding which path it's going to take, and revenge is currently winning. It's not winning, it won. And I'm gonna kill the man who took my wife from me. Revenge is like a boomerang, with sharp edges. It can't return to you without consequences. I'm prepared to face them. When someone commits an act of murder, they not only kill their victim, they kill the person they once were. Guilt, anger, regret. They will consume you until all you know is darkness. And what am I supposed to do? Revenge is a vicious cycle, and it can only be broken by forgiveness. Forgiveness? That piece of scum doesn't deserve an ounce. None of us deserve mercy, Noel, but we are all called to give and receive it. It's one of the ways we fulfill life's command to love one another. Don't be so naive. You once told Hope that she is what you live for. Did you mean that? Of course. Well, how can that be true if all you're living for now is revenge? I love Hope! Everything I'm doing is for her! It's clear you've made your decision. And there's no hope reasoning with you. I would leave right now, but Hope loves you very much, and she does not want to see you go through with this. She said that? All you want is revenge, and if you truly knew the cost, you would flee from it. Now, I have the power to let you experience killing Leon without actually doing it. How? Do you accept my offer? I... Uh, Hope wants you to trust me, Noel. Do you accept my offer? Yes. When you enter into this experience, you will have limited memory. Why? To truly understand revenge, you, you cannot know that your actions are meaningless in the real world. Now, this watch will tell you how much time you have until you pass out. So you need to be sure to create mementos. If you forget to do this, you will fall into a never-ending cycle where all you will know is revenge. How will I escape this experience? It will end when you kill Leon. But I want to kill Leon. This is not going to change that. If you truly wish to kill him, then this will merely be practice for the horrors you will inevitably commit. Now, are you ready? I am. Very well. <laughs>